the factory we're at we're at the model factory and uh the factory rat's been playing a lot of video games it's harder to get them away from the video games these days so uh this is what that's what he's been doing lately playing playing video games not very good at it <laughs> he likes doing it though anyways just want to say thanks to all my subscribers thanks to all my viewers and uh we just uh we, we just got back from last weekend from the uh from the model um show at uh it was uh motor city madness show and uh great show there was probably about 600 models on the table uh great builds uh you've probably seen my last video if you haven't go check it out um yeah, there's a lot of beautiful cars there i did another video too of like the uh, vendor area uh it's about a half hour video so i'll probably post that one in the future when i get a, a chance and uh so that'll show all the uh all the model vendors that are there and all the stuff that they were selling i went through a little slower this time and there's a lot of stuff to cover so stay tuned for that video if you want to check that out i'm going to do uh, my entries uh for my group builds we got the uh the eggplant group build uh this will be my entry for that that one's uh sponsored by charlie mack and uh over at the model works so go check his channel out if you want to get in on this uh, uh eggplant group build this is my first eggplant that's the only eggplant i own so we'll see how that goes um then we have uh we got our big rig here for the uh big rig group build um that's sponsored by jeff at jeff's model car garage auto garage um so this will be our entry for the big rig group build uh international trans star cab over 4070a it's that new uh retooled uh, amt kit so i got two of these i got the uh this one in the rat fink truck and i think i'm gonna build this one first uh, i was really excited to get this one i just picked this one up at the uh at the uh motor sydney Ma motor city madness show last sunday so um i got a few other kits here too i'll show you a little bit of stash ads i got um i got these three pyro kits from uh from the detroit show i got the uh we got the Rolls Royce. This is a 132nd, so this would be good for our um, small scale group build next year. I can pick out one of these. I got the Lincoln, uh, 32 Lincoln, sport convertible, and the uh, I got the Duesenberg uh, Roadster. So we got those. Um, let's see. I also let me put this over here bear with me here a minute um i got this at the d at the mccombs show too um i like doing these uh these uh sport utility vehicles with the sport option package i like i did this one here with the kayak and the bike on it so that's kind of basically the same type of type of vehicle this is a mitsubishi and the other one was a toyota I got this for I think 30 bucks. So we're glad to find that one. Um this kit I got at Dean's recently. Uh, I, did, I wanted to get some more tanks. So we got this one here. Um so I think I paid 30 for that. Um also let's see i got i got this one here i never seen a semi truck this small before it's the h o scale teeny tiny thing cab's only about that big <laughs> so that was kind of cute so we got that uh i could even do that one for a small group build um then i got this crazy thing it's uh it's things motorized it's got a motor in it and uh, it's got the big monster tires on it 
and I thought I'd mess around with that. Uh, I think it was it was twenty bucks. Yeah, and I might even put a different body on top of this. I was thinking, and uh, you know, build something up with it. So we're gonna mess around with that. <clears throat> also got this uh, Dale Earnhardt kit. The um, it's all clear, all clear uh, model. So for the tires and so that yeah the chassis and the body and everything's all clear so that'd be kind of cool to do so i picked that one up it was 18 bucks and got a few kits from uh walmart lately picked up one of these trikes i think they got about six of those there now <clears throat> and let's see also i got some uh i've been working on my uh, lost in space collection we got the jupiter 2 we got the uh the space pod we got the b9 robot the big one we got the real small one we also have the um we got the uh, cyclops and the chariot and I just picked up this one, the derelict uh, spaceship. So, and we also have the uh, the chariot over here. So, we're finishing up our Lost in Space collection. I also got this. Uh, picked up the Star Wars, um, this pod racer, at Dean's recently. I thought that was pretty cool looking. So, we got that to add to our Star Wars stuff. Um, uh, if you guys aren't, uh, checking out Walmart, you're missing out because, uh, they've been putting out a lot of, a lot of truck kits, a lot of these, uh, Coca-Cola trailers, you know, those were pretty pricey a few years ago and, uh, you can get, get a, get a semi truck trailer for, um, you know, about 30 bucks now. So they got, they got those, they got the, uh. They got the Western Star. They got these Peterbilt wreckers. Um, they have the Peter. They had the Peterbilt um, cab over here, and uh, I just picked this one up last week, the GMC General. So um, check check out your Walmart. My local Walmart doesn't carry model kits too much, but there's another store that I go to when I'm in the area and. I was having a hard time figuring out what a model kit I wanted to build this year. I think my problem is I got too many of them now. I got too many. But um if I if I get done, I, I almost I was thinking about building this here. Um but um I changed my mind and uh ended up going with the international. I also have this one I thought about doing, but um, the decals are pretty messed up on it, and I'm not sure if this one's 100% complete. It was uh, previously owned, and so I don't really want to do that for a group build in case there's a problem with it. If I get done with the uh, that international uh, truck, uh, I, if I have enough time, I'll try to do a trailer. I was I was wanting to build this trailer, this container trailer lately. So either that or one of these other trailers over here, um, I could do and go with the with the truck. So hopefully it'll go um, pretty well, and uh, we can add a trailer to it. So also I went to Ollie's yesterday, and. Uh, I just picked up that pod racer, but um, like I said before, um, check out Ollie's for um, for reference materials and books. I got this uh, really nice book here for five bucks. It's supposed to be uh, what is it? About twenty three dollars. But um, some great pictures in here. It's even got a big um, a big centerfold type photograph in the middle. Find it. Let's see here. I'll just give you a quick little overview of it. But um, 
<clears throat> should have marked the page. Let me see if I can find the middle of this. As you can see, uh, it's got like cutaway pictures in here. The ships and everything. And uh, it's really pretty interesting if you're a Star Wars fan at all. Really good for uh, reference materials. And... I think it's right around here we go check this out got this big huge cutaway in the middle of the book it um Gives you a nice, some nice uh, reference material in here too. For um, shows a different scale of the ships. So, anyways, uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll we'll do some updates on our group builds, and we'll uh, we'll talk to you in the next video. Uh, we're almost to 400 subscribers, so ho hopefully we'll get to 400 here soon, and maybe we can do a little something. So thanks for watching, and we'll uh, talk to you in the next video.